everybody so today I'm gonna make my baby wash so this is my DIY baby wash one of the biggest reasons that I dove into essential oils was I wanted the very best for my daughter and one of those things was biggest things to me was her skincare anything that went on her skin um, because that is obviously absorbed into the body a lot of things on the market you just can't trust what's in them and none, none of that's really good so now she's a toddler that plays around and gets dirty so she obviously has to get a bath more often but when she was an infant like the first two months of her life which was before i was doing essential oils we were using johnson and johnson we had also used the honest company that actually irritated her skin believe it or not worse than johnson and johnson this is what we did use uh, sad to say but we did so this is the baby wash recipe that i use super simple it has very few ingredients so this is what i have it in now and i like labeled a baby wash so it does have a foaming pump on it the so i have another one right here i have a bunch of them but the one that comes with the thieves or even the lavender foaming soap it comes with these plastic pumps to actually prefer i don't know i feel like it foams up better but they both fit in perfectly it literally screws on there's no reason why you can't use this and i believe i got these at Bed Bath & Beyond, which is cool because they have the 20% coupon, which we did like their year subscription, so we got 20% off of everything, so we don't have to worry about coupons. But what I do is probably about a quarter, so like if I was making this for like adults, I would probably do more like a third, but for her, I do just a quarter of Dr. Bronner's unscented Castile soap. Might have been a little bit more than I usually do, but about a quarter. So next I put in raw and unfiltered honey. I do use local honey as well, but I love the squeeze top on this, so this is super easy. I'd say that was like four second squeeze of honey. Make sure it's raw and unfiltered, that's important. And about six pumps of coconut oil. So the fractionated coconut oil, which is liquid at room temperature. I have the Viva fractionated coconut oil. I was going to buy another replacement of this and I couldn't find it at the time. So I also have Sky Organics fractionated coconut oil. They're both great. I do like those two brands, uh, Viva Naturals and Sky Organic. Vitamin E oil. So I didn't realize when I, I guess my earlier videos, that the vitamin E I was using was already diluted with like I think it was sunflower oil or something so it was actually a lot thinner and this oil that I got now is a hundred percent so is it Valentina artisan skincare so it's a hundred percent pure it's a single ingredient which it literally it's a hundred where is it at a hundred percent I don't know you can see that natural vitamin E. So this consistency is a lot thicker. It's going to be really sticky. I don't know if you can see like the consistency of that. It kind of feels like honey if I'm trying to describe it, but it's definitely sticky, but it's great for cuticles and things that can get like really dry and cracked, especially in the winter time. But that's the vitamin E oil I use now and it's really great because it has a pump on it. Yeah, I do because before I did, I think it was six drops, so I actually do three pumps, which I feel like that could be more, but it's more hydrating, so. So three pumps of the vitamin E oil, and that's the 100%, and then I'm going to do lavender and gentle baby, and I played around with the drops. I, You could do less, you could do more. I kind of prefer 15 to 20 drops of each, So it was 20 of lavender and gentle baby. I have to I have to open my back up because baby's sleeping. That's how I can record this right now. But mm, gentle baby is up in her room. So okay. So I did 20 drops of lavender and 20 drops of gentle baby. 
they're by Young Living, the only oils that I love and trust. So it kind of looks like that. I do kind of mix this around before I add the water because that's the only thing I need to add that's left. Oh, it smells so good. So make sure that you leave when you do fill it up. Make sure you leave a little space in here for the pump because it has this piece and you're going to not want it to overflow. Trust me, I've done it and it's kind of a mess. You can see how it's still kind of stuck on there. I literally will just shake it, shake it until it's combined. It's moving. Yeah, trust me, it does dissolve. You could also warm up the water, which I do sometimes, but I did not warm it up today. Not hot, I'm talking just a little bit warm. Yeah, see, it dissolved. That's it. So that is the DIY baby wash with obviously Young Living Essential Oils. These are also always in my diaper bag, especially all of the Kid Sense line, and I absolutely love them. I've even used this exact mix for my husband and I too. So we also love the scent of lavender and gentle baby together because I usually like to get a shower at night. Oh, and these are also, the size bottle is also a, it's a 19 ounce, 19 ounce foaming pump. You could, it doesn't matter honestly, but if you wanted to kind of scale down your batch or make it bigger, you could always do that. But there is no right or wrong way, but I do like these particular ingredients mixed together. So I hope you guys enjoy and have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Um, but they both, ooh, uh, um, um, and, um,